Hey guys, um, hold on, close the door. Welcome back to my channel. And I am finally going to do a easy editorial um, makeup look. So it's like euphoria, you know, when you think about euphoria, like the weird kind of looks, but I'm going to do them wearable so that you don't feel like too crazy with like the new playful makeup that you're gonna be doing. So. I was debating on whether or not I was just going to show you the eyes, but I decided I'm going to just do my whole face. So it'll just be a brand, like a whole freaking um, makeup routine. But first is first, we're going to prep the skin. Um, I showered, washed my face, and I'm going in with my Youth to the People Superfood Unity Exfoliant. So it's super duper lightweight it's an easy solution you can use it daily use so i just put like a couple drops in my hand and i press it into the skin it's like an it feels like an essence like an essence water so it's really nice and we're just gonna give it let it absorb all the extra i put in my neck get a little light <laughs> extra light for us so we wait for that to absorb. Sometimes I just speed it up by fanning my face. So that helps. Next up, we're gonna do a hyaluronic acid. I'm using Natrium 5% Hyaluronic. Uh, I really like Natrium. It's a really nice brand. It feels high-end even though it's drugstore. Um, you can find it at Target and I don't know I've never looked for it at Ulta but I'm assuming I'm assuming that you can also get it at Ulta and then after that we're gonna let that absorb a little I lied the door's gonna be open I'm so warm because I took a shower all right next up it's also from Natrium a vitamin C serum or I'm gonna do youth to the people. I think I'm gonna do youth to the people today for my whole face. So we'll do one pump. Just like that. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. It's the TV and Dennis's phone. It's kind of loud, but it's okay. So now that that's done, we're just kind of let, I let my face kind of, kind of like settle in and um, I just let it just be absorbed because the worst is when your makeup starts to feel like very like greasy and I don't like that. And I'm also going to teach you guys like the best way to get a uh, oil-free base and how I achieve that. So yeah, we'll be back. So our skin is looking very um, glass like which I love and I really like this vitamin C because it's a little tacky so it's really good for under your makeup because it's gonna like grip your makeup so to begin our look honey one this bag is a mess so if you hear a lot of bag like noises just know that it's I got a lot of things in here so we're gonna get ourselves organized and situated. So first off, we're going to cut our crease, or I always say cut the crease, but I mean cut our eyebrows, carve them out, and I'm using L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer, and keyword on super blendable, it's um, way better than their original uh, concealer. The original concealer, it's like super opaque, so if you want that for under your eyes, great, but for um under your eyebrows i really like the blendable version and i'm in shade warm one two three and i really like the applique it's like a teeny tiny brush so you can really go in and carve it out so i'm gonna be down here because my mirror is right here actually i'm gonna pull my mirror closer so that it doesn't feel so far away. There you go. And you guys can see it. Good. So what I do is I do it flat 
like you see how flat it is, like a paintbrush. And then I flat, just carve. Just like that, like I carve out the shape of my eyebrow. And then I fill in the whole eyelid. So not only am I carving my eyebrow, I'm also doing like a base for my eyeshadow. And then because it's so blendable, I literally just blend it with my fingers first. Like so easy to blend. Just like that. And then for the crease, or not the crease, oh my God. Um, for the top of it, where the carving is, I'll use this little brush. So we'll go in like this. Just to diffuse that line so it's not so strong. Just like that. And one side is done. See? So I'm gonna do that on the other side and then we'll be back. We are back, eyebrows and lids are concealed and carved. And that's why I really love the blendable. Like try the blendable, it's really nice. It's really easy to work with and clean up when you if you do something that you're like, mm, I don't really like, like right over here, I see a little bit of a harsh line. I could just tap, 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 tap. Good to go. So because the look that I'm doing, it's I'm not gonna have like fallout or anything. I'm gonna just continue on with the rest of my face. So moving next up, uh, it will be our base. And I need my con uh, my setting spray, please all. So, first step for a nice, flawless, oil-free base for at least, give or take, eight to 10 hours, is you wanna spray your face first with your setting spray. I'm using the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. So, we're gonna do the little shaker rooney And, spritz our space and I really like to concentrate it the extra last spritz as you guys saw I like to concentrate it on my t-zone because that's where I mostly get super oily so we let that dry let that really sink into the skin and then you go in with your actual primer so the primer that I'm using is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer um I really do like this primer but I've been slowly moving into like drugstore makeup, so I'm gonna try to find a good drugstore primer. But also I probably won't because I use Ulta and the points are, the point system is phenomenal, so maybe I won't. So I'm using the Step One Makeup Forever um, Skin Equalizer. And this one is specifically for to smooth your pores and for uh, oily prone skin. And again, I just put it in my t-zone just like that and i don't rub it in i press it in so i'll just tap it all into my skin i feel like i get the best coverage um i feel like it fills my pores better that way because my area, my problem skin area is definitely my T-zone. I have a whole lot of like visible pores. So I'll just tap it in just to ensure that the pores are getting as filled as they possibly can, right? And then I go over my nose. And the same is for my forehead. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. and you're just pressing it in. 
I feel like that was the game changer of, for me and my base was the action and the way that I pl applied the primer. And when you tap it in, it makes a huge difference, guys. Just give it a try and see how it goes. Next, we're going in with our foundation. I'm using the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect, and I am in the shade Medium Beige. So I just do about two pumps. Two pumps, usually enough for me, and I work the foundation down and out. And I avoid the under eye area. I also feel like my skin doesn't get that greasy because I don't put that much base. Again, that's just a personal preference. I don't have um, a lot of hyper pigmentation on my skin. I don't have a lot of blemish marks. So that can be different based on your skin type and the quality of your skin and what you consider problems that you wanna co cover and conceal, obviously. But for me, I'm luckily very thankful that my bad skin days are way behind me. So two pumps is more than enough. And what's ever left over on the sponge, I'll just dab it in the center of my face, like right here on the forehead area. And a little bit up and she is good. And again, I like the sponge because you are pressing, like pressing it into the skin. Good. Next up is concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. Elf 16 hour camo concealer and I am in the shade light sand. This is actually a little too light for me. So um, I'm gonna have to go in and get a darker one, especially as I start to get more and more tan in the summer months. So she's a little bright, honey, but it's okay. We blend her out. So using the same sponge, I just mostly press all of the product on the inner eye, just like that. And then whatever's left over, I'll work out this way. So eventually it's bright, but it's not too bad when you work the product. And again, we'll do the other side. Concentrating it in the areas where I want it to be mostly bright and that's on the inner eye. And then what's ever left over. Just bring it out. And then for an even more blended finish, I'll get the the butt area of the sponge that I have my foundation on and just go along the lines just to ensure that everything looks seamless. And for the nose, we'll just tap it in as well. Just to give you like some definition and some snatchment. Next up is contour. I'm using Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Divine Define in C16. A little goes such a long way. This concealer lasted me like two years. Like it's insane. I even take off all the excess product. Like it's so much and I just do that much like look if you have not tried this concealer like mine's gonna be blown so i just dab it like are you guys am i not seeing what you're seeing because if you're seeing what i'm seeing like it's insane and then whatever's left over i'll just bring it up to my temples and look how much color i'm still getting on my temples with that tiny bit of product i'm telling you it is really really nice continue moving it this way 
I really like this product a lot and that's because like a little goes such a long way. <gasps> I got makeup all over my pajama shirt. Dang it, and this is like clean. Oh well, it's just makeup. There you go. And I like to place my contour above, above the line to give me a higher cheekbone, like a more chiseled, like a more chiseled uh, sculpted face. And with the brush, I'm kind of like patting and rubbing at the same time to give you an airbrush finish. And I'm using the e.l.f. brush as well. It's their uh, complexion duo brush and I love this brush. So whatever's left over, we bring it down. Now we're gonna mist our face one more time with our setting spray. Dry it up. Telling you, the setting spray first, second, and third is the game changer. Now we're going to set our under eyes and our contour. And all we do is just go right back in with our sponge to eliminate any of the creases. And then I'm using the Kat Von D setting powder. And then I press the powder into the skin. You don't have to use a lot. You're gonna get really good coverage with a little bit of powder. Like you don't have to use that much to feel like you're baking. And I put the powder everywhere where I crease and where I sweat and get the most oily. I have one line in the center of my face that always gets super duper um, creasy. So I like to put it there. And I like to powder my nose. I get very greasy. And on my chin. And then lastly, I'll chisel my contour. And that's the game changer. Whatever's left over, you just press into your skin. Just like that. <laughs> so while that bakes, we're gonna do our eyes. And this is the fun part. And again, this is gonna be a super duper easy video. So it won't be as um, intricate as some of the looks that I have had on like my vlogs. So the number one thing that I'm gonna recommend is getting some water soluble painting like palettes. Um, there's a couple brands that I found on Instagram and they were like really nice, but they're price like not pricey But then when I went on Amazon, I found some For the price of one that I was gonna order. I got like a, a kit of like two packs. So I got the hand Dayan hand Dayan. I'm gonna link everything in the description. So if you want it just go to the description, but it's like this brand Handy on. So it's water soluble painting plates. I also use a lot of liners and my liners are from NYX. I really enjoy their, their liners. It's easy to make dots because the applique's really small. But this is what it looks like. I have a bright pack and then I have a muted pack. And then obviously you can mix and match. So this, again, like like it says, it's activated by water. And then I also bought a pack of brushes that like nail art brushes. So they have like all these different size of dots and then different size uh, brushes. So go to Amazon and get yourself this because once you have it, you just have fun and you can do whatever you want with your eye light, with your eye look. So today I'm wearing blue jeans and like a black like haltered little top. Don't know if I'm gonna do sneakers or sandals yet. Um, sneakers? 
kind of said sneakers and then said whatever, whatever you want. So I think I want to do like a cute blue green eye. So I'm going to be going in with this blue and then this green. And all I'm doing is going to do little dots on the sides. So it gives me like a winged look without actually like connecting it, just like little lines. I'm telling you, it just jazzes up your makeup a little bit and it makes it really cool. So I need a little cup for water, so please hold. We're back, we have a little shot glass with water. And then I'm going to do this size and This size and this size. I want commotion. I wanted um, two different size dots, so I'm using two different size dots. One bigger, one smaller. So the bigger one, I think I'm gonna do the pink, and then the small one, I'm gonna do the the green. Or should I do orange? Because I did pink eyeliner yesterday. I'm gonna do orange and green. So the big one, I'm gonna do orange, and then the small ones, I'm gonna do green. So. You just dip your brush or your thingy in it. And then so you can see the green, it's like super watery now. And we got the brush in and we're literally gonna just go. One, two, three. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. three three done we're gonna get the other size one and we're gonna go into the orange and I am mixing it I don't know if you guys see fully coat our little dot and we're just put the dots in between just like that and if you mess up, it doesn't matter because this is fun makeup, who cares? Boom, boom, cute. And that's what we're doing for now. Once I'm done my makeup, I sometimes like go in and add a little more like a little something, something in there because I'm like, eh, not enough color or funness for me. So now that you see how our powder has like literally absorbed into our skin, like it's absorbing into our our pores. We're going to go in with our sponge and just finish pressing it in to the skin. You really want the powder to be in. Put the lotion in the skin or whatever hell that guy said. And then go with the butt and we Chisel that cheek, girl. Like, purr, period. And our skin looks nice. Next up, I'm gonna do a little blush. I'm gonna use the Milani. Um, this one is super pigmented. So I just get my regular blush brush. And what I do is I rub it in my fingertips so it's nice and warm like that's that's more than like more than enough that I need and then I'll put it in the palm of my hand so I can like keep it nice and warm and then I'll press it into the skin and then let the brush do the rest of the work blend it out more just like that and then again, just like that. I'm telling you, it's so pigmented. It is, I played myself. I had to take off all my makeup the first time I used it. I was like, holy guacamole. This is way more than I thought. <laughs> So that is all, and it doesn't look like a lot on in this light, but it is from far away. Like in person, it's it's way more than what it looks like because the white lights kind of like diffuse it. 
Um, but yeah, so next up we're gonna do some mascara. And again, I always use color mascara. Um, my favorite is blue. I've definitely used, I've used purple before, I've used green, but my favorite mascara is blue. So we'll put on some blue mascara and when I'm back, you'll see that. We are back. I'm telling you, blue is my favorite. I'm brown eyed and I feel like blue really makes my eyes pop and that's why I just use blue mascara. <laughs> Unless black mascara is just gonna look better, I'm like, okay, I'll go with the black mascara. But besides that, honey, it's blue. So next up, we're gonna set our bronzer and our blush. I'm using NYX and then I'm using Mali Beauty. This bronzer is, you know, if you know, you know. And then the blush is like this baby, baby girl pink, which I love. But first this bronzer using an angled brush. We're just gonna go in and chisel that cheek a little more, chisel the forehead. You know, just give some body back. And we're also going to contour our nose. So I'll just pinch it, grab a little bit, and contour my nose. I do a little V at the tip because I want it to look like little and then I go right above the bulb to give me a rounded tip. I mean, don't we all love a rounded tip? <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, yeah, nose is done. Super easy, nothing too crazy. I'm not a drastic nose contour. I just don't really know how to do it. Now I'm just taking just a blush brush, loading this thing, just like that. Boom. Now we set the face one more time. Now that all the powders are on, and this is the game changer, honey. And I also love my face being a little wet before I put uh, my highlighter because it goes on like crazy. And I love a crazy highlight. So I'm going in with Anastasia Amrezi. This is literally the only highlight I use. There's just so much product on the pan. I just, I, there's no need for me to buy another highlighter. I'm like, I, I'm not gonna use it. So while that's like a little bit damp, we're gonna go in and give them that J-Lo glow. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. And then I press it above my um, eyebrows. Like the glow that you get with the little bit of setting powder still wet on your skin, it's insane. It just gives health, you know? And then I'm gonna use my fingertip to just give myself a little button nose, honey. Like, like please. And then we're gonna put some on the bridge of our nose. Like that. And on the chin, chinny chin chin. And it's just, it's just fun. And your face just feels healthy. It looks healthy, it looks glowy. Now we're gonna go in and put our eyebrows on, which is just eyebrow gel. I mean, every single time I do a video, you guys know I don't fill my eyebrows. This is my eyebrow. I've been blessed, I got nice thick brows. So I'm going in with NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and this is just to add some color and also to brush up the um, the hairs. Give the hair some, some body body, you know? Gives you like that laminated look without it being like overly laminated. Like, I just, I don't like overly laminated eyebrows. That just was not my, I'm not into it that much. 
I like a nice thick fluffy brow so I really like this mascara because it really gives me that fluffy brow look like girl obviously it helps that I have fluffy brows but this just helps keep the fluffy in place so we're looking like that and technically your makeup is about done but I gotta put some mascara on my bottom lashes and then I think I'm gonna add a little something something else so this is so far the finished look I have a little bit of mascara that like kind of fell in the inner of my eyes but I'm like we don't care so I think I want like one more dot and I think I'm gonna do like the smallest brush that I have that has like the smallest the smallest dot available uh girl that's if I can find it where I don't have that uh huh okay let's figure it out we're doing all of our measurements this is the smallest one Eek. so we're gonna go in We're wetting it and I'm trying to decide what color I want. I think I'm going to do one green, one orange, like why not? So I'm going to go in, just wetting my palette again. Sorry, you're seeing like the top of my head, but a girl can only do so much. So I'm going in and I'm re-wetting the orange and just stirring it. There you go. Then we're gonna go right here. Just like that. Just like that. And then we're gonna do it with the green. There you go. I will do a little one. You see that? Like, cute little dot. And now I'm happy. Now I'm a happy gal, happy, happy, happy gal. And to finish off the entire look, I'm going to be doing a just lip gloss on top. So that's it. But we're gonna set our skin one last time. And this is the last time we're setting our skin. And I promise you, your makeup isn't going anywhere in oil who. I'm gonna finish up doing my hair and my lip and then I'll come back with the final look. And this is the final look. I just had to like retouch my hair and change. I'm wearing a black little halter shirt, obviously. My boobs always bigger than the hell. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope that you guys just like start having fun with your makeup. It doesn't have to be like the same thing every single time. So on that note, bye guys. And thanks for watching another video. Like, subscribe, um, comment down below if you like this style of uh, makeup routine. And I can definitely do a plethora of videos with different like looks on dots or lines and that kind of stuff. So just let me know. So yeah, bye guys.